how do you see pluralism in Jakarta currently? And um, with um, escalating, escalating incidents uh, related to pluralism, how mm. do you, in the future, if you are elected as the governor, uh, how you will, how will you tackle such incidents like uh, recent resume? Yeah. If I'm elected as the new governor of Jakarta, I will make sure and I will guarantee that everyone should respect pluralism, unity among diversity. And that's the beauty of Indonesia and that's the beauty of Jakarta. Jakarta is the melting pot. It's a multi-ethnic society. So we, we, do, we do have differences for sure. Uh, we have different kinds of uh, religious, religions and also uh, uh, races and uh, political backgrounds, but we cannot express our freedom at the expense of others. I am a military man for 16 plus years. I serve in the military, in the Indonesian army. I've traveled around the world. I've seen a lot of things. And um, my core business is to ensure the integrity and the unity of our country. NKRI Harga Mati. That's final. And it should, it should go the same thing uh, with Jakarta. I will try my best. Of course, I have the experience to deal with um, security issues. And I will try my best to ensure that stability in Jakarta through public policy making process, of course, and to, uh, through education, formally and informally, we need to uh, influence all uh, citizens of Jakarta because Jakarta is, you know, it, it is the, uh, the miniature of Indonesia. So what happens in Jakarta will, of course, impact it on uh, other provinces, other cities in Indonesia. So it is very important. It is very fundamental. And I said it, I, I say this uh, so many times that the first uh, uh, homework that need to be done for whoever leader is elected for Jakarta in this uh, coming uh, election is not economic development but reconciliation. That's the first and foremost uh, uh, the major or the most depressing issue that needs to be in, uh, taken into account and uh, the leader or the governor must find uh, uh, the best solution that will accommodate all people, all interests, and uh, will engage all stakeholders in this, uh, uh, in this context. Okay. Uh, how do you see um, how effective it is to campaign in social media? Uh, I, I love critics, but I don't, I don't, I don't have uh, time for haters. <laughs> Again, I love critics. Constructive critics and feedbacks are wonderful. I really need them. But I don't have time to read or and even response to uh, uh, haters, Simple, simply haters, because no contacts uh, and all, all, uh, only black campaign. So again, I don't want to uh, uh, waste my uh, personal life, personal uh, time to, to, to read such uh, uh, negative uh, and black nasty campaign words. Uh, nasty words without any uh, uh, ethical or what is it? Etiquette, I think, uh, etiquette. Uh, and uh, still, I'm very, very, confident that uh, 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 my, my personal choice is the best for me at the moment and uh, especially when they are attacking my, uh, my personal life or attacking my, 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 my family, my daughter in fact, w what happened to this country, right? I mean, we're not uh, <laughs> uh, in a situation whereby um, uh, people actually must uh, have some respect to others' families, so I prefer not to open that uh, to anyone who is, who is just trying to uh, uh, yeah, be haters. And uh, again, I'm not uh, against any critic. Of course, it will be managed by uh, my team because I cannot uh, manage by myself. It's uh, too big and too, uh, I have uh, so little time. To, to manage my, myself and uh, the team will, of course, report to me for whatever feedbacks or, or aspirations from the, uh, the, the public, from the society. Bye.